Guys, I cannot wait for this year's NFL draft. Woo! Woo! It's going to be a lot of talent coming out of this draft, man. Some guys got three, four, five quarterbacks coming out in the first 10. Man, it's a lot. They even got your boy J.J. McCarthy, man, saying he might be top five, top eight, bro. I thought maybe uh, last year he might be in the second round, but, man, a lot of people are putting him up there or whatever, say he, he got the mind state, he got the poise, and he doesn't make a lot of bad throws, bro. So, man, there's a lot of guys in this draft, man. But what's up with your boy J.J. McCarthy, man? You think he's going to make it to that first round? First round? First round? Dude, J.J. McCarthy is going to be a top five pick, bro. Top five? Top five. Top Ooh. five pick. That's bold. Look who's picking right now. J.J. McCarthy, bottom line, is a winner. He's a top three quarterback prospect this year. He's six foot two, 205. I understand, you know, not the biggest dude. He's a mobile quarterback. He can make plays with his legs. He doesn't get the attention of, like, the Caleb Williams, the Drake Mays, or the Jaden Daniels because he wasn't asked to do as much. But Michigan was a run-dominating team, and when McCarthy needed to throw the ball, he did throw the ball. And he bombed on people when he needed to. Don't believe me? Ask my man Leland here, Ohio State fan. He'll tell you all about it. He'll tell you too much about it. J.J. McCarthy, when asked, has done everything and then some to rally his team and win the big games. In two years, as Michigan's starting quarterback, this man is 27-1 and one as a starting quarterback. He's thrown for 5,710 yards, 44 touchdowns, 9 picks, completing 68-69% of his passes. On a run-dominating team, we understand that. But still, when asked, big moments, clutch time, can you do it? He can do it. Also added 500-some yards, you know, rushing and eight touchdowns. He's not that killer running quarterback type, but he can make plays with his legs, and he has. You got to be able to run, too. You got to yeah, be able to run and when it's in the field because it's a lot faster. That's the name of the game, man. And he's de he definitely can do that. He knows the game. He can make the throws in and out, bro. National champion, three time, three time Big Ten champion, all of that. But look at how the drafts have been going. Last year, you remember somebody was drafted top five last year. Somebody, what was it, AR fifteen out of Florida? AR fifteen, bro. That man started thirteen games for the Gators and got drafted fourth overall to the Colts, bro. Because he deserved it, bro. I'm not sitting here trying to make a case bash in AR fifteen. <laughs> you know, you know, I've I've grown to respect Apple turnovers. There you go. Yeah, whatever. You know, they ain't his name, baby Cam. It, it was in Florida, but <laughs> he still he still got to figure out that turnover problem in the NFL. But anyway, I'm just saying, he got drafted fourth overall. This is my point. So you got these teams that need quarterbacks, and the top five picks, the quarterbacks are needed. Go mm -hmm. ahead, name them off. Top five. Go. So we got number one in Chicago Bears. That's Caleb Williams. I think we can all agree on that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we got number two, Washington Commanders. Do they need a quarterback right now? They do yes. need a quarterback. They don't have one. Sam Howell's gone. Sam Howell, they traded him mm. to the Seahawks, bro. It's obviously okay. showed you they're playing, and they're definitely planning on taking a quarterback. They're going to trade First two picks are quarterbacks, quarterback. definitely. So Washington yeah. needs a quarterback. Sam yeah. Howell's at the Seahawks. Yeah. So we got number three, New England. New they England need needs a quarterback. quarterback. Yeah, there's, really there's there's three quarterbacks right there. We got Arizona Cardinals. They might yeah. want to invest in one as well. I mean, mm, I know maybe. you're paying Kyler Murray all that money, so they probably won't, but I would if I was them. And then what, fifth? Who picks fifth? Fifth, fifth you got the Chargers. Chargers, no, they don't need one. No. What and about six? Got, and then you got the Giants at six. Giants need one. So, look, okay, if not five, six. Somewhere within those six picks, J.J. McCarthy will get selected. I'll say top six, not five, based mm -hmm. off of which teams are picking and which order. And mm -hmm. there could be a trade. Somebody could trade up to do what? Trade so, up. Could, sure. This is barring no trade, so I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. I think he would go a little bit lower. I'll say the highest, maybe that seven at Tennessee, or maybe 12 at the Denver Broncos. That would probably be a nicer fit for him. Or uh, even 13 – for the Raiders, so I'm thinking a little bit lower down, but top five, I think I think that's just just, just stretching it a little bit too much. But top fifteen, I think that'd be that'd be perfect for him because, like I say, he showed he showed out like in the big games and he did everything that he's supposed to do. Now he is a good quarterback. Now anything is possible, anything yep. is definitely possible. But like I say, seven Tennessee best case scenario, 
Worst case scenario, I think 13 at the Las Vegas Raiders. Hold on. You made a case last year, and you were raising hell about Anthony Richardson being a top five pick. Why him and not J.J. McCarthy when he's accomplished far more and been far more successful? Because I just think it's better players in, in, in the league that they might need better players. Like the first said, three, the first three quarterbacks probably already done. So are you saying that he's top three out yes. of the quarterbacks? Yes. You think he's top three? Caleb Williams is better. Pro style, Drake May is more ready than he is. Mm-hmm. Outside of them two, he's as ready as anybody else. Jaden Daniels, I like I like him throwing the ball with Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels, Daniels was killing it dual threat, and he was doing everything, bro. Michael Penix Jr., maybe more of a peer passer, but maybe. the way the game is now, you know what I'm saying, comparing to Anthony Richardson, like my question I was asking you, because like he his accuracy was a concern. He's got arm strength for days. He could do could probably what throw about, 80 yards, but what about Bo Nix? No, his stock isn't that. that man spent so much time. And how old is he? Like 26? He's ready. 26 year old rookie. He's ready. <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> he I'm is just ready. Saying, I don't know how you could say that about JJ McCarthy and not Anthony Richardson. Leland, is JJ McCarthy a first round pick, bro? First round, that's not even a question. There'll at least be five quarterbacks taken. Like Bo Nix, like he was like he what he did at Oregon and how he turned his career around was amazing. But you gotta have the right system and it, you gotta have that short, you know, spread it out, short passing game, and not a ton of NFL teams are gonna run that style. You gotta have the style for him. Mm-hmm. He might still get a first round if someone needs it. He probably will, but the top five quarterbacks, they're gonna go in the first round, probably before the top fifteen. Now the question is to me, like, the, is it McCarthy or is it uh Michael Penix that goes first? McCarthy, I feel He's got better poise. He's got the athleticism. Like you said, he's a winner. But I think more often, like, he, he, he didn't really shine, but he wasn't really in a system that built to shine. Too shine. If he went somewhere else where he threw it more, he would have put up better numbers. But exactly. he did what they asked him to do. He didn't need to throw the ball 40 times a game. because he's a winner. Honestly, he, he didn't have the weapons that Michael Penix did either. I mean, he made most of what he had, but they didn't have elite weapons at wide receiver. But they had a dominant, the most dominant run game. One well, of the best defense is not the best, the best defense in the country. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he, and that and a lot of that puts on like you don't have an ego. Like most quarterbacks, you're a five star. You're not going to want to play in that system. So that shows me by him doing that, he'll go to any system in the NFL and adapt to it. Most likely, he, he don't have that ego. Or, I got to be the guy. He'll go in and play your system. He ain't going to be an issue. So I think with his poise, especially with pressure, he don't ever get rattled. I mean, a lot, a lot of the big games, people will come after him, and it never seemed like it phased him. I know a lot of people are throwing that Penn State game out. That Penn State game, they didn't need to do anything else. He was hurt. They knew Penn State wasn't going to move the ball. The last thing they needed to do was turn the ball over and give Penn State a chance on a short field to score. They knew they were you, you know. So. And you could beat them running the ball. Exactly. You, did, you didn't so. have to do anything else. So Period. I think he's going to be one of the first five quarterbacks taken, maybe the fourth. Um, but we'll see how high it goes, but. He'll probably be maybe top 10, top 15 at the worst, but he'll be a first-round quarterback. And I, I think he's a proven winner, like you said. I like the other quarterbacks. Caleb you knows going one. Drake May's got talent for days. Jaden Daniels is like a dual threat. Michael Penix mm-hmm. still kind of worries me because of the talent he did have. He's a great deep ball thrower, but the intermediate rough throws, he's not that accurate. So it kind of wonders me. And he, he gets had rattled. accuracy issues at Indiana. He was kind of raw. He did great, but he had them receivers. You could hit him pinpoint passes deep, but Right. How are you going to handle the pressure in the NFL and how are you going to make them short yardage passes when you need to, mm-hmm. especially across the middle, which I think he struggled with at times, especially when you got pressure on him. Yeah. I would take McCarthy over Michael Penix myself. I know he had better numbers, but like you said, numbers don't always show everything. thing with uh, Michael Penix, too, is he was throwing to one of the best receivers in Roma Dunsey. Mm-hmm. Talk about first round. Dude, that man, well, that's a first round pick for you. Oh, my God. Right. Mm-hmm. And then you got your boy Jaden Daniels he's throwing to Malik Neighbors. Yeah. Right. So he I mean, he's, be, he's a he savage first, too. They're all going to be first rounders, first, bro. First 10. Right. So and th- they're hyping up Jaden Daniels big time too. And so get, and then you got freaking Can't sleep on Harrison him. Junior. He gonna be freaking. Oh yeah, top easy two, top, top ten pick. Three. Absolutely. Right. Exactly. If, if it wasn't for the dire need of quarterbacks from them first three teams, I think mm-hmm. he would be a top three pick. Marvin Harrison would. He's gonna be a no generational doubt. player. He's. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the best wide receiver prospect we've seen since who. Uh, I can't. Even, I, I've never. I, I don't even I don't remember know. one off the top of my head. I mean, that dude is phenomenal. 
Right. So Odell Beckham or something? Uh, maybe. Not even. Not even. He's way better than he was at LSU. Yeah. Way better. But yeah. So he had the height, so, though. so we're all in agreement that JJ McCarthy will go in the first round. I'm saying top first six picks. Mm -hmm. Sam, you're saying what by how many? Seven, seven, seven to thirteen, seven to fifteen. And Leland, you saying like ten to fifteen range? Like you said, it all depends on. Like you said, the teams could trade up. They need everyone needs a court. A lot of teams need a quarterback. Someone could trade up and get him. I think he'll be the fourth quarterback taken at worst, which could still get him in the top ten. It all depends on who's going to get a quarterback. Yeah. I think he'll go fourth as far as the quarterbacks. But that that might still make him top ten. Just really depends. Who you so oh, Caleb Williams, Drake May, and Jaden Daniels? You think will go ahead of him? That the three probably. You got? Yeah, I could. It's see just that hard too. to ignore what Jaden Daniels did, the numbers he put up in the SEC. Well, it's no, like, I mean my guy, he was LSU, bro. And unbelievable. The Heisman rushing, and all that. Oh my god, his numbers were insane, bro. Yeah, his like, numbers were yeah, insane. It, that's unheard of. Unheard. And I like Caleb, but man, the pink fingernails and pink phone. He's been in California too long. That shit kind of worries <laughs> me. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs>